This is what we're making today, Chian Kun Morami. This is three pounds of pork shoulder. We're gonna cut this into half inch cubes. Then we're gonna take a quarter of an onion and finely dice it, or how the French would say it, brunoise. We're also going to smash the garlic into a fine dice. Now, in an extremely hot wok, we're going to give our pork a good sear. Make sure your wok is extremely hot or you will end up boiling your meat. While we're searing it, we're going to season it generously with salt and pepper. We're going to cook this on its own for about 5 minutes. After 5 minutes in the pan, we're going to add in our onions and garlic. As you cook this, the juices from the meat will release, which will end up in the bottom of your pan. To give the meat a good sear, we will continue to saute this for another 10 to 15 minutes. Next, we're going to add in 3 tablespoons of ketchup mayonnaise or sweet soy sauce, 3 tablespoons of oyster sauce, 3 tablespoons of hoisin sauce, and 3 tablespoons of brown sugar. If you don't have sweet soy sauce, you can just use regular soy sauce, just add more sugar. And if you don't have brown sugar, use whatever sugar you have. You can even use honey. We're going to lower this to a simmer, put a lid on it, and cook it for 2 hours. Next, in a cup of warm water, we're going to add in 1 tablespoon of sugar and 1 tablespoon of dry instant yeast. We're going to give this a good mix and set it aside for 10 minutes or until the yeast start foaming. In a stand mixer bowl, we're going to add in 2.5 cups of all-purpose flour, 3 tablespoons of shortening or lard, 3 tablespoons of sugar, and 1 tablespoon of baking powder. We're going to attach this to the stand mixer, and with a dough hook attachment, we're going to give it a mix. After 10 minutes, this is our yeast. We're now going to add it to our dry ingredients. Once all of the yeast has been added, we're going to knead this for 10 minutes on medium speed. What we're looking for is a nice smooth consistency with the dough. Make sure you take your time with this and the dough is of the right consistency. Once the dough has achieved a nice smooth consistency, we're going to take it off the hook. We're going to place a towel over the bowl and let it rest for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, the dough should have doubled in size. We're going to take this dough and roll it into a log. After making a log, we're going to cut this into thirds. Then, we're going to take a third of the dough and roll it into a ball. We're going to press it down with our palm into a circle. We're going to take our dough and place it into our steamer with parchment underneath. We're then going to place our container on top of boiling water to let it steam for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, our dough should be cooked. The surface of your dough should have a nice waxy feel to it. What we made here is a steamed bun. This bun is usually used for dishes like cha shu pao. After 2 hours of simmering, this is our filling. Essentially, what we're making here is a deconstructed cha shu bao. As the final step to our filling, we're going to add in a cornstarch slurry, bring it to a boil to activate the cornstarch, and thicken our sauce. And as the final step, we're going to take the top of our bun, place it on top of a stencil that I cut out on a hot pan.
First, we're going to take this off the plate. I don't want to use my knife on it because it'll leave a scratch mark, and that plate's really expensive. Alright, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but the searing in the last part of the cooking didn't exactly work. The stencil itself actually worked and it left a mark on the bread, but what happened was the bread ended up sticking to the paper, and when I took off the paper, it ripped the whole thing apart. So, what I ended up doing was taking the stencil, putting it on top of the bun, and then I sprinkled some five spice on it. In terms of the taste, I mean, this is actually really good. If you guys have had Filipino shopao, that's what I'm tasting here. If you guys don't know what Filipino shopao is, it's a Filipino version of the Chinese cha shu bao. And if you guys don't know what a cha shu bao is, go google it, I can't explain it to you. So yeah, basically that's what we made here, a deconstructed cha shu bao. And as for the five spice, it actually goes well with this, I wish I actually just threw that into the sauce. Anyways, if you guys like what you see, hit the like button. And if you guys have any suggestions on what I should cook next, Please post in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. And guys, if you want to help support fund my recipes, check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash chefmar. And to all my Patreons, thank you for your support. Because of you, I was able to afford a new table. And guys, please check out the new tier on my Patreon page. For $100, I'll recreate your dream dish.